Samsung is a company that makes excellent phones. They care about things like listening to their customers. They want to make sure that their customers have all the features that they value. If Samsung makes advertisements bashing their competitors for removing features and functionality for no good reason while simultaneously hiking the prices of their products, they're not going to do the same thing because they value things like removable batteries, SD card slots, liquid resistance, and headphone jacks. LOL. Just kidding. This is one of the reasons why it's really important to not be a fanboy. So if you take a look over here, you'll see that Samsung used to make these vivid advertisements and commercials where they would make fun of Apple for things like the decision to remove the headphone jack. And at the very least, it seems like Samsung has enough self-awareness to realize that if you're going to spend two or three years making fun of your competitor for not having a headphone jack, and then you simultaneously remove the headphone jack from your own product while charging more money for it than older generations for no good reason then you should probably take down the ad so you don't look like a total effing idiot. And that's exactly what they did. Now, this is not something that's actually new to Samsung. You may think that this is new, that Samsung decided to do something similar to what a competitor did when not doing that thing is the thing that differentiated their products in the eyes and hearts of their users. This is actually something that's fairly common. So if you take a look at this video I did a year and a half ago, it's a video titled Samsung, Please Leave Apple Bashing to Certified Professionals. What I was talking about in that video were the advertisements that Samsung made against Apple after that whole PR nightmare came out with Apple where the phone was clocking itself down, making itself slower if you had a battery in it that was worn out. So if your battery in your phone was wearing out over time, rather than alerting you and saying, hey, you should get the battery replaced because I'm going to start running slow, it would just start running slow. It's almost like by not informing the users when you're degrading the performance of the product, it's intentionally that's going to make them buy a new one. It's almost like that's what they're going for all along. Anyway, this video is not about Apple, so we, we can get into that in another video. They were bashing Apple for this, and I found it pretty f interesting that they were bashing Apple for this for, for a couple of reasons that I point out in this video. A, replacing the battery in a Samsung phone is actually more difficult than replacing the battery in an iPhone, which is a newer development. It didn't always used to be that way. It was that way after uh, Samsung decided to start designing their phones in a certain way. B, when it comes to how easy it is to get a battery replacement, there are more Apple stores than there are Samsung stores that will replace your battery. And most importantly, if you try to buy a battery off of Samsung's own parts website, which is laid out terribly, might I add, if you take a look at that video I did, it's often out of stock, unavailable, you can't see pictures of any of the products. Their website is laid out worse than store.rossmangroup.com a website that I put together while every night for an hour or so at a time while waiting for the train on my way home at 1 in the morning. Those are not the areas where I'd expect them to make fun of Apple when their products are not much better in that regard. The cost for the replacement battery from Samsung and the cost for a replacement battery from Apple are not that far apart. You can't, if you're making fun of them for charging this much money when you're charging this much money, it's not the same. And further... It seems like they have no concept of the idea that their devices actually get slower over time as well. Do you, I mean, when you look at just stuff like the, their older phones using this crappy TLC NANDs that would get slower and had limited write cycles that were way worse than the phones that were coming out from other manufacturers at the time. I had a Samsung Galaxy S uh, 4G. I'm fully aware of just how little time it took for that to get slow. I had a Samsung S3 and S5, and S7. I've had enough of Samsung phones that after 18 months, I can change the battery with an OEM battery. I can factory reset and start from scratch, and it's still painfully slow. It's something that I actually wound up mentioning in this video. Happy Galaxy S5 owner requests Samsung remove their head from their ass. And also the follow-up to that video, where I show that a Moto G that costs 25% of what the Samsung phone costs was actually faster genuinely faster. I could do a factory reset on that Samsung. It would still be slower than the Moto G, which was one-fourth the price. Samsung, of all companies, you are not the company to be making fun of another manufacturer because their phones get slow over time. I've used LG phones. I've used Motorola phones. I've used HTC as my daily driver. I've used oh, many different companies. Samsung is one of those companies where you hit that 18 month, the two-year mark. It is painful how slow it is regardless of whether I replace my battery or factory reset. So I find it interesting that Apple's making fun of them over these things. And this is not, again, yeah, not even remotely new. If you go back to as far as the S5 and the S6, the S5 had a user removable battery, an SD card slot, liquid resistance. The S6 has no user removable battery, no advertised liquid resistance, no SD card slot. 
This is not the first time that Samsung has gone heel and implemented into their products all the very things that they claim were failings in their competitor's product. It's also one of the reasons that it's really important to not be a fanboy. By not being a fanboy, when a product that I'm using begins to suck, it's very easy for me to switch over to another brand or another device from another company because I don't have this ideological, emotional investment in the brand. I could look at Samsung doing something like this full well and say, I dislike a lot of the practices that Apple has. Doesn't mean I'm buying a Samsung either. And it just shows you how fundamentally tone deaf many of these businesses are. It, when, you, when it comes to things like the, the headphone jack, you're not doing this to cut cost of the user. Because this phone still costs an arm and a leg in contrast to older notes. And you're not doing it to add something like liquid resistance or durability, which already existed in Samsung products that had the headphone jack. You're probably doing this to save three or five cents off your bottom line while you're charging the user out the ass for the nude product. And you're hoping that those few cents you save is going to benefit you more than looking like a hypocritical, complete and utter jackass by deleting all your old ads, making fun of Apple for doing the same thing all right, in the long run. And this is just shameful, disgrace. It's, it's just a disgrace, in my opinion, of the, the, the product line. And it's sad that many of the companies kind of forget what it was that made their products something that was different from everybody else's. Very few companies appear to be willing to break the mold and just make something different. Here's a phone with a battery you can replace. Here's a phone that will actually fit in your hand if you're not Shaquille O'Neal. Personally, I think it's important to not be a fanboy. It's, you know, when a company does something that is dumb, and it's really dumb and it hurts their users or it makes their products worse, I think it's important to point it out. The ThinkPad is a, is a laptop that I love. When they decided to mess with the touchpad and track points and everything in the T440, I bitched at them for it. When it comes to things like Superfish, like that, that's indefensible. By defending that, I'm... I'm, I'm encouraging them to do more stupid crap like that in the future. I don't think it does a company any good when you defend the things that they do that are dumb. And you may be a fan of the Note. You may think it's the greatest phone ever. You may not even care about a headphone jack. But for the just the sheer consistency in, uh, in, in ideology or design philosophy, if you're going to spend two to three years making fun of your competition for doing X, and you're going to advertise that, and you're going to push that, Maybe you shouldn't be doing X yourself if you don't have a great explanation for it. Can we admit that at least, even if you don't really care about a headphone jack? That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.